Hello, thank you for joining me on Word of Inspiration. I'm so glad you joined. Uh, my name is Dr. Bertha Aye, and I present a program that is designed to encourage and motivate you. And today I have a message for you I've entitled Your Expectation. And my text is taken from Psalm 23, I mean Proverbs 23, verse 17 to 18. And it simply says, Let not your heart envy sinners, but be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long. For surely there is an end, and your expectation will not be cut off. Surely there is an end. My hope is that by the time you're done listening to this message, you will understand that you need to have an, a positive expectation every day because there is a God who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you expect, and that you should let your expectation come from Him. He says, surely there is an end. In the book of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, the Bible lets us understand that God has a certain power that is at work in us. That power is able to transform the things that we ask and the things that we think about into reality. And not just that, he's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. Your expectation. What is your expectation? I have a question for you. What is your expectation for your career, for your life, for your job? For your marriage, your children, and generally for your future. What is your expectation? Sometimes we expect a negative outcome and we get just that, but you can choose to have a positive expectation. I don't know what stage you are in your life. Maybe you are a young person, maybe 13 or 14 in high school with great expectations. Keep them because they shall surely come to pass. Maybe you're in your 50s, you look back, you're in a midlife crisis, you don't know where to move forward with your life. Have a positive expectation. Or maybe you're 77 or 80 years and you look back, you've done so much, the future looks bleak. Or maybe you've had such a good life, you're just settling in to enjoy. Whatever it is, have a positive expectation. In the book of Acts chapter 3, verses 1 to 9, we read about a man who the Bible says was lame from birth. Every day, people would carry him and sit him at the gate called Beautiful, and he would just beg people for whatever pennies they had to give him. This particular day, he saw Peter and John walking into the temple. The Bible says that he fixed his eyes steadfastly on them, hoping to receive something from them. In fact, the Bible says he was expecting something from them, expecting to receive. He had an expectation. It was just for money, short term. Then Peter looked at him and said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. The Bible says that immediately his feet and ankle bones were made strong. He rose up, started leaping and shouting. See, he had been used to expecting short-term results. A little penny here, 50 pennies here, enough to get him by. He didn't know that that particular day, God was going to change his expectation. God was going to exceed his expectation. Instead of receiving a few pennies every day, now he could get up and walk. He could actually go and make a farm. He could actually go and get a job and be able to take care of himself. God exceeded his expectation. Today, what is your expectation? In Psalm 65, if you read all of it up to verse 10 or so, David begins to say, my expectation comes from you alone. You are my rock, my salvation. From you cometh my expectation. Today, where have you put your expectation? Is it in people? Is it in your friends? Is it in your connections? Think about this for a moment. How many times have you deeply down in your heart promised somebody something and then when it was time to deliver, you realized you just didn't have what it takes to deliver? You disappointed that individual. That person was putting their expectation in you that you knew you could not deliver. Similarly, people may have good intentions for your life, but sometimes they just don't have what it takes to meet those expectations. But if you put your expectation in God, the Bible says that he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly. Take a moment to read Psalm 65. David began to say that, my expectation cometh only from you, and I will pour out, he said, men, pour out your heart before him, for he is able to meet your expectation. Today, I came to encourage you to have a positive expectation because the Bible says in Psalm 23 that surely 
there is an end and your expectation shall not be cut off. In Psalm 73, we see David again mourning. He said he looked at the wicked. They were spreading out like a bay tree. They were so successful and his heart began to be weak. In fact, he became envious at the wicked. And sometimes you're a young woman, you see your friends dating rich married men, they have flashy cars, you ask yourself, am I doing the right thing in not doing what is wrong? Or maybe you work in an office, everybody's collecting bribes and writing false reports and you're like sticking to the right thing. Today, Psalm 23, I mean, Proverbs 23 says, let not your heart envy sinners, uh, be thou in the fear of the Lord all the day long, for surely there is an end and your expectation shall not be cut off. In Psalm 73, David said, and so he went to the temple and he saw their end. It was sharp in a moment. They were the people who had been flourishing in a sinful condition were desolate. They were disappointed. And then he asked God to just forgive him. Today, know that let your expectation come from him. Do the right thing. And at the right time, in the end, your expectation shall not be cut off. Thank you for listening. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for your word that encourages us to walk in the right way. Listen to your voice and do what you ask us to do because we know that our expectation shall not be cut off. Give us the strength to walk in your fear all the day long. Today, the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his countenance to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Say these words after me. I am a winner. I am more than a conqueror. I can face every situation that comes my way. By God, I can run through a troop. And by him, I will leap over a wall. I have been programmed to succeed. And I will succeed. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Please join me next time.